Okay, so when I was editing my Portland videos a few weeks ago, I didn't actually spot this until the last time I had watched the, the clip and, you know, was pretty much finished editing. So, uh, and I tried to zoom in on it real quick in the outro, so you probably didn't stick around to see it the first time. So let me show it to you again. <laughs> or maybe it's just my age. Anyway, uh, so, and yes. Uh, check out my Instagram and Twitter. Yeah. He's the gift that keeps on giving even after he's gone. Yeah. Noah says he teases his friends because he loves them. He must love me a lot. Greetings one and all, and welcome to Tom's Hit Parade. By the way, I invite you to hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, leave me your thoughts in the comments section, and share this video with your friends. I'd really appreciate it. So, what's on the agenda for today? Bargain Bag. Yes, uh, this is my monthly hunt for buried audio treasures in the form of one mystery CD grab bag assembled from the budget wall at Epic Seconds. It's currently not out on the floor. They've got... Uh, well, other stuff, but uh, they promised to return the $1 section at some point. When I got these and filled these bags up, they were four for a dollar. So, uh, and I just bought a huge, huge amount of them. So I don't really remember what's in any of these bags uh, I could, because I don't have an eidetic memory. So anyway, yes, but before I open up the new bag every month, I go through what was in the previous month's bargain bag in rough order from cast-offs to keepers. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first one I actually did not listen to because I already own it. It is uh, Astro Lounge by Smash Mouth. And yes, of course, you've got uh, All Star, their big hit, or as it's known in the UK, All Star. And uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Um, oh, Then the Morning Comes, that's a f modest hit of theirs. And Can't Get Enough of You, Baby. And oh, wasn't there another pretty good uh, hit on here? Maybe not. I guess that was it. Anyway, so yeah, uh, no reason for me to keep it because only because I already own it. So uh, otherwise it is a keeper, but in the case of this bag, it's not a keeper. Then we have, uh, what's her name? Audra McDonald. Uh, I believe she's an actress as well as a singer. Uh, this is her album, How Glory Goes. Um, R&B, jazz, a little bit of soul, a little bit of gospel, as, as the title kind of implies. But yeah, she does quite a few... Uh, uh, Great American Songbook standards on here. Very nice voice, uh, just did not have enough uniqueness in it to really grab me. And the same goes with Silver. This is a very, very different from Audra McDonald. This is actually uh, dance pop. Very uh, turn of the millennium kind of, not, not even really Ace of Bass, because Ace of Bass was more, had more of a reggae kind of a sound to it. This is just straight up EDM dance pop kind of stuff. I just did not find anything really... And, well, a couple of the songs were, were okay. I don't know. Maybe I will change my mind on this. I might actually give this another listen before I get rid of it. So maybe I should have put it, uh, placed it a little bit higher up in the in the Cast House to Keepers order. Uh, next up we have A Jewish Odyssey. This is a Puto Mayo CD. I thought I would really enjoy this, uh, or at least I would enjoy it a lot more than I did. But, uh, yeah, kind of... I don't know, because... Years ago, when I was at... Sorry, my, my chin feels a little bit hot. That's why I'm kind of uh, dabbing it with my hand. It's still... I don't know. Um, I was at a store up in Portland. It's kind of a, a co-op store uh, that, you know, a lot of... Several different vendors put their stuff on consignment, and they sell it through the store's management. And so the, each of the individual sellers gets a piece. That's how the store works. Anyway, they had a Jewish, uh, ethnic, Jewish and Yiddish... Uh, compilation CD there, and I almost bought it. Uh, and so, based on that memory from several years ago, I thought I would enjoy this a lot more than I did, but unfortunately I didn't. So, I don't know. And again, maybe I will give it another listen, who knows. Uh, coming pretty close to the Keepers, this one I think is on the bubble also. It's a rock band called The Music. For some reason, uh, when I saw this CD, I, re I remember, vaguely remember hearing of the music before, and I thought that they were a, uh, like an R&B or, or hip-hop band, uh, 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 artist. But yeah, this is actually very much uh, rock, kind of like a, uh, a blend of Radiohead, 
you know, that kind of, uh, what do you call it, uh, kind of experimental rock, I'll blend with more of the noisy kind of industrial rock kind of stuff. So that's why I'm kind of on the bubble is I, I've, I've liked some of that stuff, but some of it I did not care for. So yeah, I will probably give this one another listen. <laughs> there are going to be a few re-listens, I guess, in this uh, bag, if time allows. Sometimes I say I'm going to re-listen to something, I never get around to it, so I decide, okay, I must not have been that crazy about it, and so it goes away. And sometimes with regret, sometimes without regret. Uh, next up here we have Neil Diamond. This was uh, one of his is one of his later albums, um, Home Before Dark, and it is produced by Rick Rubin. Uh, Rick Rubin produced a couple of his albums, so uh, this, this was an interesting listen. I, I kind of liked it. Uh, Neil Diamond, I kind of have to be in the mood to listen to his stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty good. I think I might keep it. One of the tracks features um, Natalie Maines of uh, The Chicks in kind of a duet. So, And the two uh, the two definite keepers, I'm, I'm probably going to keep the Neil Diamond and maybe a couple others. Uh, but we've got the Spin Doctors, a pocket full of kryptonite. And yes, this is actually, I had heard, of course, um, oh, what was the song? Shoot. What's the, oh, Two Princes. That's, that was their big hit. And so I assumed the whole rest of the album would be like that. But no, this was a lot more, had a lot more funk, as I recall. And it, it's been a couple weeks. I've been meaning to get this bargain bag video in. I was going to get it in earlier in the month, but obviously didn't happen. So it's been a couple weeks since I've listened to these CDs. Um, yeah, I, as I recall, a little bit more funk to it. Uh, sound a little bit more like Red Hot Chili Peppers than I expected them to. So, uh, yeah, I really enjoy this, and that's uh, making me uh, think about uh, keeping an eye out for their uh, subsequent album, or I can't remember. I think this might have been their major label debut. Well, I'd have to look it up, but uh, one of the adjacent albums to this, I'm thinking of uh, looking it up. And, uh, but the, the Keeper, by a pretty narrow margin, is 100% Fun by Matthew Sweet. And I've got, I recently picked up his album Girlfriend, which was his, his big... Uh, magnum opus of his career, I guess you'd say. And this one, I had tried this one out years and years ago, did not care for it because I did not like his voice at the time. I just thought his voice was kind of flimsy and weak. But then, you know, looking back on it and after and after having listened to Girlfriend, which I hadn't listened to until a couple months ago when I bought it, uh, I realized, okay, this guy's, you know, he's got those moments in his voice and you know and the his voice is kind of his thing and i've grown to grown a little more comfortable with his voice so uh, but yeah two of my uh, early favorites which are still kind of my favorites on here were uh, we're the same and what was the other one i can't remember what the other one was there's something wrong with my memory today um oh smog moon i think was the other one that i thought was uh, pretty good so uh yeah, there you have it with that crop of CDs. Um, there may be as many keepers as there are uh, cast-offs with this bunch. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to listen to Silver again, give it another, sh another shot, and uh, one more shot at the music before I get rid of it. Not all of my music, just... Yeah, just, just the music. Yeah. The music. Probably not the uh, wisest name for a band. Gets a little uh, interesting when trying to do a Google search on that artist. Yeah, typing in the music in Google. They didn't think that through. Anyway, <laughs> on to the bag. And I am still look waiting to find... As I said in the beginning of this video, I remember almost none of the CDs that I grabbed. Because remember, I grabbed two years' worth of bargain bags, eight discs in a bag, and stuffed them all at once. So just try to remember what you bought when you buy that many CDs. Uh, but yes, there are two CDs that I'm aware of that are still hiding in one of the bags, possibly this one. Uh, the soundtrack from Schindler's List, John Williams, my man, and Play by Moby are somewhere in one of these bags. Perhaps this one. So let's take a look and see. Wait. Don't worry, I'll pick it up. And let's see what is in the bag. First CD here we have. 
Oh, the brand new heavies. I've heard of these guys. I have never uh, checked them out before. So the brand new heavies featuring Ndeya Davenport. See right there? Featuring Ndeya Davenport. So hmm. I will have uh, fun listening to that one, I'm sure. And what do we have? We have... Oh, Mark Anthony. Yep, I, I kind of thought that one was in here somewhere. But... Uh, it says this one, yeah, this one has his big hit, I Need to Know, on it. And I thought there was another song, a per, another pretty well-known song on here. I cannot, oh, maybe it's just the Spanish version of I Need to Know, Dimelo. So, I do kind of like Enrique Iglesias a little bit more than Mark Anthony, but I guess I'll give him another shot. Then what do we have? Oh, Elbow. I, I can't remember, no, I think I have... Listened to one or two of their albums before. Didn't really think a whole lot of them, but that was years ago, and my music taste has shifted a bit, um, expanded a little bit since then. So, yeah. Leaders of the Free World. So that will be interesting to uh, to give Elbow another try. And those, that is three of the CDs. Let's hear if number four is... Oh, Acoustic Alchemy. Against the Grain. Didn't I have this in a bargain bag? Maybe I maybe I didn't. Maybe it was a different uh, Acoustic Alchemy CD. I don't know. And I, I do know that that one did not really stick. I think I have, or do I have, uh, maybe I don't still have one of their CDs that uh, was in my sister's collection. Uh, but yeah, uh, Acoustic Jazz, um, Acoustic, what is it? Contemporary Jazz, uh, New Age-ish kind of stuff. So, uh, which can be hit or miss for me. Loved it back in the day. Whatever I listened to of it, I loved back then. But I've got a little bit more particular in it, or particular about it in my recent yes, yay words. Then what do we have? Oh, En Vogue, Born to Sing. Oh, I had picked this one up at uh, St. Vinny's store uh, a couple months ago, and unfortunately, it did not stick. So I might just, I'm probably just going to bypass this one. I won't even listen to it. Uh, yeah, because that was just, as I said, just a couple of months ago. Maybe even less than a couple of months ago. Yeah. I found two of their CDs at the same time. They were both new and sealed. I thought I was going to really enjoy them. Yeah. Yes, uh, 90s R&B girl groups can be a little tricky thing for me. Kind of like uh, 21st century girl pop groups. And then we have... Oh, the Donnas. I've heard about these uh, girls. Boy, this CD case is dirty. Wow. Yeah you, can, yeah, you can kind of see how dirty and scratched up it is. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. I think they are punk, uh, or punkish anyway. So yeah, I will be interested to hear them. And next to the last CD is... Oh, I can't read what it says on the... Oh, the Mars Volta. Oh, Amputecture is the name of the album. That's true. Oh, I see. They've got the, the head of a statue, Amputecture. Cutting off the head of the statue. Statues, there's architecture involved in that. Yeah, Back cover's kind of interesting, too. So, yeah. I have heard about the Mars Volta. I guess their most recent album, what was it, last year, got quite a bit of attention. Was in a lot of people's uh, uh, best of lists. So, yeah. And then the final CD is... Uh, oh, John Fogarty. Premonition. Is this a... This might be a live CD, but yeah, it's got some of the uh, uh, CCR's hits, Creedence Clearwater Revival, and I think it's got some of his, uh, yeah, some of his solo hits, Centerfield is on here. So yeah, that'll be, this will be fun to listen to. My sister was a big CCR fan, and I've got a two-disc compilation of theirs, thanks to her, and uh, so yeah, this will be fun to listen to. I'm... I am kind of sort of expecting this to be the winner winner chicken dinner for next month. So, but who knows? Some of the CDs, uh, some of the other CDs might surprise me. So, anyway, so that was a pretty good selection of CDs for the month, wouldn't you say? Anyway, that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And before you go, drop me some feedback in the comment section. I'd love to know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell icon so you don't miss future videos, and click my username to browse my past videos. Links to my socials and my favorite fellow YouTubers are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And remember, 
life's too short to be a music snob.